What's up guys, Sal here. So just yesterday, we saw the first official look at the Galaxy S23 Ultra as well as the S23 Plus that showed the final design of the handsets. And now we have some more information that brings the Galaxy S23 closer to its Ultra sibling. You see, ever since Samsung introduced the Ultra phones a few years ago, they started making the regular variants of the S series less appealing to drive more people into buying the expensive Ultra phones, a tactic that Apple also blatantly follows for the iPhones. The regular Galaxy S variant saw a downgrade in the display, camera, battery, cooling system, and more. But it seems with the Galaxy S23, Samsung is kind of changing its strategy a bit, bringing the regular variant closer to the S23 Ultra in a key display aspect. Yesterday, we saw that the S23 Ultra will have a 1750 nits of peak brightness, same as last year, but with improvements in color accuracy when the display reaches the maximum brightness. And it looks like the S23 will also have the same display brightness as the S23 Ultra, which is 1750 nits. It's a huge upgrade from the 1300 nit display on the S22. So basically, this means both the S23 and S23 Plus will have the same peak brightness as their Ultra counterpart, which is in line with the new strategy that Samsung has adopted where they don't want to cut corners anymore. And unlike the S23 Ultra, both the S23 and Plus will see an increase in battery capacity by 200 mAh. So the official battery specs are going to be 3900 mAh for the S23, 40 700 for the S23 Plus and 5000 milliamperes for the S23 Ultra. The charging speed, however, will remain the same as last year. And not just that, we have another great news. You see, according to the latest benchmarks, the chipset on the S23 series will see some significant upgrades, not just in performance, but in efficiency as well. It draws less power than the competing chips, including Apple's latest A16 Bionic, which itself is a great thing. But Samsung is using an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And the thing with overclocked chips is that they need better cooling. And that's what we'll see with the S23 lineup. All the S23 variants will have a significantly improved cooling system. He also gave some numbers, but I'm not really sure what that actually means. Is it 2.8 times better or is it the coefficient of performance? We don't know, but what we know is Samsung has improved the cooling system for better sustained performance and that's what matters. He also gave some specifications of the S23 Ultra and as I've shared before, the base storage will start from 256 gigs this time instead of just 128 gigabytes. The RAM count however will depend on the region. Some regions will get 12 gigs as base and some other will get 8 gigabytes. So it depends on where you live. The front camera will get a new 12 megapixel sensor with dual pixel. Dual pixel basically provides a faster and more accurate autofocusing system. With that said, I'll make sure to keep you updated with all the latest S23 information. So do consider subscribing for that and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.